First Monday of October 2016, a month and some days away from the election, and the global agenda to control water is in full march, and both candidates, Clinton and Trump, who are the front runners, are uh, supporting taking away the Second Amendment. Trump said stop and frisk. That's taking away our rights to be secure in our personal possessions. I think the fourth, I'm not sure. I'm not going to quote anything because my recall is sporadic. But my opinion is consistent that we need a mechanism to rein in all of these destructive mechanisms in our current society rapidly. I've been trying to get it for four years and right here is the pinnacle. I'm about burned out messing with the social media but we need a platform where we can dictate to our government to ourselves by the people to our representatives which are supposed to be our in times of dire communications and dire needs or mechanism for defense but we have full communications right now we have full communications and i'd like to thank everybody who's gotten us to this point in history this far everybody can retire to the mechanism of a proper tax appropriation and delegation system unlike we have had now with dignity and their personal possessions and have clean and mecha clean mechanisms fully funded for exploration and water conservation and life conservation the UN states according to th something I heard that in 2050 we're all going to have to take a quarter less sips of water to preserve our life force on this planet now we're explorers and where I heard that he is exactly right we like to ride but we do not like to say goodbye whether we make it around or whatever, we need a mechanism that says, hey, when you go out and you explore space and you learn to colonize a piece of the rock in space and you become self-sufficient, that you don't have to come back and pay property taxes for that self-sufficiency, even if there is a, a mechanism of support out there that you catapulted your development off of. We are going to be on a prepaid system we have to be on a prepaid system for dignity freedom and sustainability because if we buy something that should be the only time it's ever taxed if there's like a manufactured item that comes from that is a tool that is purchased here and it is shot to space whatever mechanism it is shot with to space has a, a negative equal force action reaction blah 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 and it has to be countered with the proper funding according to sense all right so anyhow i'm getting off basis i'm getting way deep down into what i'm trying to say because it is a really complex issue and right now both candidates are aligned with the u.n and the UN wants everybody to be unarmed so they can bomb their whole communities like they're doing to them people in the Middle East. They went in there with the desert storm because of the planes that they flew into the towers. And uh, they went in there and they unarmed the whole region thinking that's going to bring stability. And all that did was make more victims. Just like everywhere that these people... Uh, choose to pull the trigger there's no security there's no security and the second amendment is the only thing that keeps any kind of civility around the world what we're not allowed to have a handgun unless we pay somebody to tote it around for us well they gotta be in black suits before it's legal in other countries how do they work that how does Clinton go over there, or any of our delegates go over there? Everybody needs the right 
to be secure in their possessions? Their cars, first off. They don't have to carry a gun into every building and every municipality that they encounter to maintain possession. But in a terrorist incident, I think we need to reinforce personal property rights as far as a car goes. We need the true interpretation of personal property and security in personal possessions reinterpreted to where it is understood that a chamber counts as personal property and personal possessions. If the door is locked and the, the trunk is locked, that is good enough. That is being personally responsible for your vehicle, for your material items. That should be as standard procedure as pat down yourself. In other words, you have to be present before somebody can... That they, they shouldn't... The criminal justice reform is what they're getting at. Okay, now how's Clinton plan to do the criminal justice reform? I got a plan to do criminal justice reform. First off, we end the stupid war and the stupid propaganda that promotes appeals and all these drugs down the line and put them sons of bitches in the damn liquor store where adults, consenting adults with the ID, can get them and stop killing people and taking away their ability to be secure in their personal belongings away. Making them victims or you know, I mean I don't know. I've not been personally on the scene. I, I, I've not got the God's view on the internet. I do not know how to look up everything I want to see and access and illustrate everything I want to do. Because of patent laws and intellectual technology, we're not allowed to even have medicines that treat communicable ailments such as the respiratory infection that gets passed through the school redundantly when there are bad janitors or bad mechanisms in the procedure that neglects, like, we have a consistent problem of neglect. If you get to a stage of authority, it's assumed. Therefore, it opens up the realm for neglect by the governing body. And we can clean this neglect up if we can just get a few people into the base of our government that are from the streets and not from Wall Street, but any street without... Find somebody with a hole in their shoe and let them do it. Not somebody with a plug in their pocket. Not the guy that's got $50 an hour to block out everybody else's communications. It's not $50 an hour and we make your communications more visible. It's $50 an hour and we'll block out so many people's ability to see other people's communication over yours. We'll suppress their news feed so they don't even see their personal friends and families on here. They'll, we'll, we'll implement new mechanisms that will steer their timeline away from seeing their friends and family unless they select their friends and family to be seen allowing us to coerce everything that they see individually we have to stop it we have to stop it now and we also have a lot of other things that i cannot just pull out of thin air to have a conversation with myself and have a conversation with you nobody nobody not nobody has gone versus or in support of any phrase, clip, or segment that I have posted. Nobody will publicly comment on on, on C-SPAN because when they do, they get blocked. I have literally been blocked from being able to visibly see the replies that citizens in our country, the government of our co country, cannot see. The government has mechanisms that are suppressing every lifestyle 
and every opinion there is. It is not that inconceivable that they can control every feed we see. This might come as a message. I don't know. It's kind of long-winded for a message, ain't it? But I'm going to put this on C-SPAN. It will probably not be seen. The only reason I use the public... I mean, why can't we see it? Why cannot we delegate a conversation to the government? The government does not want to export our Second Amendment. They do not want to say, hey, you win. He's right. Without the guns, the citizens cannot police themselves. I say give solve the immigration problem. That's fine. First off, give every immigrant a 9mm and $5 a day and send them home. Or comparable to four, four gallons of gas. No, uh, uh, How many megawatts? No, wait a minute. We don't even need it. I have the tether line of electrical infrastructure. They just took the Native Americans' land Two, take the copper and electrify Africa. Are they planning on putting wires through Africa when they're obsolete in America? As easy as we can have a windmill or solar panel, why can we not have a grandfather clock that does the same thing because of patent laws and intellectual technology laws and the... Manipulation with those two technologies to prevent us from having access to medicine and energy devices that have no emissions except for maybe a, 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 a degree of heat at the source emitted. Maybe a degree of heat emitted. No gases, just heat. And everybody knows that can be insulated. Unless you take it to melt. And, once and then you make it bigger and you give it rest cycles. It's not that hard. Matter of fact, it's really rudimentary physics and rudimentary existence. All of it is. It is very easy and the politicians say, oh, it's this hard. No, it is not that hard. We start with the town, the county, the state, and the federal governments. We put them all into one sales tax. They get all their money from the one product, every dollar, just like it is. Well, that's 4%. Okay, we're going to do 5% because we got to remember, we're investing in our future now so others don't have to do it later because if we don't, well, I don't know. I mean, right now is a pretty good time because we right really, if we get rid of a lot of these patent laws and intellectual technology and give them the bailouts instead of these financial institutions and these corporations that are created around manipulation of the educational system. We can do some stuff. I've seen it work. I've seen cell phones when you first get them, they, they last forever. The batteries don't go dead. Do you know what makes the batteries go dead? The updates. The updates update and put mechanisms in there to make the power usage greater. To make other mechanisms to secure your cell phone's power source and power lifetime relevant. Like maybe buying an app that optimizes your power usage. Could be. Things blinking now. And anyhow, we can do a lot more than we're doing if we remember it's for the people, by the people. It's all for the people, by the people, and they just did institute a whole mechanism of chain of events over the last 15 years to get us back regressed to where we were in 1968 prior to 1968 with civil unrest and inequality there is no inequality in the workplace women hey women if we give you equality 
and take the discretion away from the employer, there is no more employer. Why would anybody accept that kind of risk? It's just like being married. You can be, uh, um, you can be, uh, well, civil discourse and stuff. I got to go to work, but you guys got to start listening and start participating. We got to write in our own names. We got to take our own representation back, so we can get a good platform, public platform where we can vote on each and every line item. I read them every day on these three or four websites. The uh, uh, Office of the Clerk of the Rep House of Representatives. Uh, the uh, Senate here is a uh, there's a North Carolina Assembly. Anyhow, I got them all right here. It They don't do so much that we cannot read it in an hour at work. An uh, hour a week to find out what they're going for. And if you don't like it or not, you should be able to publicly comment or publicly like or unlike. Dictate to the representatives the real consensus of the people with the new social media platforms. And with the new debit card system, we should be able to have migration perfect. But they don't want to have migration perfect. They don't want to give anybody the Second Amendment. Not even Trump is going to give anybody the Second Amendment without what having a glove up your... Let me frisk you. Let me give you the arm of the law. I'm going to have to make another video because this one's really undirected and is leaving gaps and holes and everything. But when you're talking to yourself on the wall as a brick on the wall... When they got you cubed off to where your true opinions can't show in a timely manner, in live, real-time action, where they can block my Brax, my Brax uh commentary, and when they can block all these commentaries that are relevant in time, like the computer relevant... I don't know what the last tape I made was, but once they started blocking him, just blocking them because they know it's getting election time. They know if they don't delete somebody's comments that it will remove them from the social media platforms that somebody's going to get traction one day and just do the right thing. It's not that hard to check the flow. I was walking out of the store yesterday and I had to check the flow because I looked down after getting a couple steps through the parking lot and there was a two-year-old following me with no adult within 15 feet. Mm, stomach's rumbling. It wasn't that hard to do the right thing and the only people not doing the right thing by adjusting their salaries in the United States is not we the people, but our government. And the Constitution is not here to protect the government. It is here to protect the people. And when the people are enslaved through property taxes, income taxes, and mandates to purchase insurances to appease the ransom of medication and personal health, we have a problem. Now, the pyramid should be us at the top because we want it, our love to grow outward. And I personally think if we're going to share the pie, the dividends should be funneled properly because Well, because we're being the gracious and we're being the host with the resources in abundance that we have. But they're not doing anybody any good. Actually, we're being neglectful. We're being gluttonous. And we are currently... Because we have enough resources on the planet with proper education and proper knowledge, which means intellectual technology and patent laws like I've been saying. <sighs> mm. 
Now, why me over these two candidates? Because I, I have a firm record where I'm going to give you the one safe trade, transit, insurance, commerce, sales tax, appropriation, accountability, infrastructure, investment system to freeze all debt, buy intellectual technology, get us the cure for the uh, uh, chronic communicable ailments, and get us the freedom to have our sovereign homes and our sovereign where we have fortified ourselves against the elements, which there's plenty of elements to go out here and fortify ourselves against. Space is a vacuum of cold, they said. No, there are heat waves in space. If we can ride the heat waves, hey, we'll be jumping over bridges in no time. But, We have to adjust the tax system and the ability to own and be secure in personal possessions. I don't go.